The Proud Boys found guilty of plotting the Capitol assault. It has implications for the investigation into President Trump's role in the January 6th attack. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas has the latest. George, good morning. The Justice Department has now proven that the January 6th attack was far from spontaneous, but involved an organized conspiracy of sedition by the leaders of the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers to block the peaceful transfer of power. This morning, a jury convicting the head of the Proud Boys and three top lieutenants of multiple felonies, including the rare charge of seditious conspiracy and a plot to use force to keep Donald Trump in power. The evidence presented at trial detailed the extent of the violence at the Capitol on January 6th and the central role these defendants played in setting into motion the unlawful events of that day. Prosecutors laying out a mountain of evidence, including thousands of texts and videos like these, showing that Proud Boys were among the first to break through those metal barriers protecting the Capitol. The government proved the men behind the violence, Proud Boy leaders Ethan Nordine, Joseph Biggs, Zachary Reel, and the group's chief, Enrique Terrio, saw themselves as Donald Trump's army, thirsting for violence and organizing for action. They now face potentially decades in prison. Enrique Terrio was not at the Capitol on January 6th, but on the eve of the insurrection. And Stuart, pleasure. Stuart, pleasure's all mine. Terrio was seen meeting with the leaders of the Oath Keepers in an underground Washington, D.C. parking garage. Prosecutors say the next day he orchestrated the attack from afar, texting his fellow Proud Boys at the height of the violence, telling them, don't expletive leave. The jury also convicting a key foot soldier, Proud Boy Dominic Pozzola, who was seen in that infamous video using a stolen police shield to smash through a window, allowing the mob to breach the Capitol. The jury found Pozzello guilty of a number of felonies, including obstructing a congressional proceeding and assaulting officers. He faces more than 20 years in prison, but the jury acquitted him on seditious conspiracy, unconvinced he was part of the initial plot. The Proud Boys, a far-right nationalist group with chauvinistic views on women, were tied to Donald Trump long before January 6th, and their ranks only surged after Trump called them out by name at a debate. Proud Boys, Proud Boys stand back and stand by. Attorneys for the defendants blamed Donald Trump, saying they were being made his scapegoat. As for Trump and his associates, they remain under special counsel investigation for their role in January 6th, an investigation that appears to be nearing its final stages. Eva? Pierre Thomas for us there in Washington. Thanks, Pierre. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.